<laughs> Welcome back, Bishop Carroll. I'm Kylie Wimberly. Wow, I can't believe it's already prom season. Wait, wait, I can't hear you. April, April Fools! Welcome back, Bishop Carroll. I'm Kylie Wimberly. And I'm Rachel Nisus. Sorry for those technical difficulties. It actually happens all the time with us. You'll see that later in a blooper segment. We have the results of the mass Singer, and the winner is the Tiger. Let's see if you guys guessed correctly. Congrats, Mr. Skaggs. Job well done. And special thanks to Riley Doherty, who was the panda. Wow, what a month it's been with everyone back. Rachel, can you believe it's already April? I know. It's crazy to think that summer is right around the corner. And it's prom season. I'm so excited to wear my dress. I know, me too. Mine is super cute. I wonder what prom was like back in the day. Hmm, that's a good question. We have a segment with our very own teachers and what their prom looked like back then. Take it away, Carolyn. Hey, Bishop Carroll. Prom is definitely going to look different this year, but not quite as different as it was for our teachers back in the day. Let's see if you can guess which teachers these prom photos belong to. Thanks for playing along, BC. I hope your prom is just as memorable as theirs was. Wow, Mrs. Hankey's dress was so cute. I would have bought that dress. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Carolyn, and the teachers that sent in their pictures. Spring sports are in full swing here at Carroll. I think I could be a track star and jump some hurdles. What do you think, Rachel? Uh, I don't know about that, Kylie. I think you should stick to dancing. Well, here's Noah with your update about our Carroll Eagles. What's good, Bishop Carroll? Welcome to sports, the best segment on the broadcast. I'm your host, Noah Mall, and I'll be taking you through a quick look through of our sports. Hold on, we've got a lot to get through. Why not start with our boys and girls track team? They both competed in the Andale meet last week, and they both placed second. Now let's take a look at the girls swim and dive team. They are 0-2 in duels, but they placed third at the Northwest invite and first in the Marion invite. The boys tennis team is currently 4-0 in City League, and they finished third place at Goddard's tournament. Next, the baseball team. They are 6-1 and, and pulled off some great wins over Mays and Derby. The softball team is really rolling right now at 6-0, and, and Kendall Forbes was named National Max Preps NFCA Player of the Week last week. The boys golf team has competed in one meet so far, but at that meet they placed second. As for the girls soccer team, they are 5-2 and two with the two close losses to a very good Mays team. Well, I think that's all for sports. I'll catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks, Noah. Good luck on your season, athletes. Rachel, do you know what my favorite segment has been this year? No. What? Parking lot interviews. But I do miss lunchroom interviews. Well, Kylie, you're in luck because we have our first lunchroom interviews of the year with Claire and Diana. Take it away, guys. Sean, are you stressed about school? Uh, yeah, don't even get me started with Mr. Shuckman every morning. Where's your lanyard, Sean? Every morning, right as I step foot on the property. Mr. Shuckman, who's your most memorable student? Oh, no question. Sean Kraus. <laughs> what car do you want to take to prom? Uh, prom. Man, what's prom? Who's your senior crush? Lillian Weekland. <laughs> <laughs> what's your best pickup line? If you were a Transformer, you'd be Optimus Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of a kid's movie completely scarred you? Um... <laughs> When the lion died in The Lion King, when he fell off oh, the mountain. Yeah. In Toy Story, when that kid walked in his room and all the toys were messed up. <laughs> Hello, this is Johnny Steven. Welcome back to BCTV. Claire, how many people do you keep in your basement? Um, how many people do I keep in my basement? Yes, ma'am. Uh, probably about three. That's it? Yeah, not four. Are you planning on keeping any more? No. <laughs> Why not? That's a lie. It's too many. My basement isn't big enough. <laughs> okay. All right. Is cereal a soup? Yes. Thank you. 
Thanks, guys. It's good to finally see those back. Those are some pretty interesting responses as usual. Rachel, is your date taking you to prom in his car or a limo? He's taking me in his car. His car is pretty cool, but have you seen some of the cars in the Carroll parking lot? Yeah, I know. There's so many different cars, from trucks to little cute cars. We have a special segment for you. It's Cool Cars of Bishop Carroll, where we see all the cool cars that are in our parking lot. Take it away, Nathan. So we all know that the Bishop Carroll parking lot can be a bit of a pain, but we took the time to find the gems in there for you. These are the cool cars of Bishop Carroll. All right, so we're here with uh, Isaac Arredondo. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your car? Um, well, it's probably one of the smallest cars at the school, but it, it is straight piped with glass packs on it. So it's probably one of the loudest. That's probably the favorite thing about it, and it's manual. So the one, there's one story. I was with uh, my friend, and I thought the light turned green, but it was for the other light. So I was turning onto other traffic, so I had to do a full 180 going the other way with traffic coming our way. So it's pretty scary. All right, so we got our favorite Claire Weber here. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about your car. Well, so my car's name is Lily Von Stoop, and I've had her since sophomore year. And a little story about my car is my dad saw, you know, Lily in this old lady's driveway, and year after year, he like was like, I need to get this car. And then finally, he went up to her door and asked for it, and she died a year later, and here we are. All right, so we're here with the man, Sean himself. Uh, tell us a little bit about your mystery machine. Uh, we've had it brand new since 1966, whenever my grandpa owned it, and that was the year my dad was born. All right, what are your favorite and least favorite things about it? Uh, my favorite thing is the speakers in the back with the subs, and my least favorite thing is um, Probably that you can only drive it on a nice day. All right, how many people do you think can fit in this bad boy? Uh, comfortably, probably seven. If you really wanted to put people in there, you could probably fit about 12. Wow, I was not expecting all those cool cars. Oh yeah, for sure. How many takes do you think it took to film that segment? Oh, at least 75 takes. I can never read what's on the teleprompter. Yeah, you're right. It is so hard to read it sometimes. It makes me think of one of those segments that we love doing, but I can't think of it. Bloopers, they are always so funny. Here are some bloopers from the past year. Enjoy. Enjoy. Quiet on set. Huh? Welcome back to our first broadcast. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Okay, camera's rolling. I'm getting a headache. Rolling. Quiet on set, please. You know, time has really flown by this year. It's hard to, oh. Yes, that hot chocolate, oh. Man, am I back, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, my bad. Yeah. I always enjoy watching those classics every year. It's nice to have a tradition during the holidays. Are we really going to keep going? I can't. I can well, maybe our ne next... Okay. Come on, too close. close. To close out our broadcast, we have a special... Me special? <laughs> a special? A spe we have a special... <laughs> this amazing segment of sports. Oh, gosh. All right. But, Luke, what about the family? The football? The... I said it in the wrong order. It doesn't matter. It's nice to have traditions during the holidays. Stop. I can't. <laughs> you got a little eye booger. Yeah. There you go. You got it. <laughs> Team Carolyn, Caroline. Daniel's idea. My bad. Well, I don't know. What are you doing? Are you? I'm Claire Weber, and I'm Diana Datu. Time for lunchroom interviews. <laughs> they are 1983 City League champs and substance. Oh, oh. I would save the whales and dolphins. <laughs> Okay, I'm not made for this. Stop it there. I love watching those. They always make me laugh. This week was prom week, and everyone got to have dress-up days. Tomorrow is Ultimate Pride Day, so wear all your Eagle gear. Well, that's all we have for you today, Eagles. As Miss Johnson says, be safe, fun, and holy. See you next time.